everybody, this is Kai your Ranting Gamer, and I'm going to show you how to make your Windows Movie Maker come in HD. Well, I have Windows 7 Ultimate Edition on this laptop now. Don't ask why or how and how I manage because it's only able to use Vista, and that's about as far as it can go, but somehow I manage because I'm that awesome. Um, unfortunately, my Sony Vegas doesn't work anymore, so that is why I resorted to Windows Movie Maker. Uh, let me note, this is Windows Movie Maker 2.6, and it's made for Windows Vista. So, of that, I'm not sure if you can see it because I'm using my broken flip camera right now. I can't see the screen, so hopefully it doesn't look that bad. I'm using my HD camera right now. Um, this is my only HD camera I have. I don't feel like editing this video to make it HD, so um, let's do this all in straight shot. Basically, if you have Windows 7, you would know that there is no Windows Movie Maker on it. At least, I couldn't find one on mine. So, I did the next best thing. I looked up um, Windows um, Movie Maker on some website, and I found it for Vista. And I downloaded it, assuming it would work, and it would work perfectly fine. I'm not sure if this works with the regular um, Windows Movie Maker. I absolutely hate this program. It crashed five times on me in the middle of editing a video. And that would be the one I posted before this one, actually. I lost all my stuff, and now I just know better to just save every time. So let's find a, um, find um, what we're looking for here. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Tools. You're going to go down to the Options. And basically, it'll by default be at the general thing. But if you click on Advanced, you could change the video format and the aspect ratio. By default, it should be set to 4x3. You want to set it to 16x9, so it'll save, will resize the video into HD format. It's not going to come out as literally HD video, it's going to be so high quality, but it's going to make it the right size to make it, you know, fit the screen on YouTube. Um, by default, it's usually set to um, NTSC. I don't know why I switched it over to PAL, but I just wanted to see what would happen. And really, I don't see any difference between the two. But I just set it as this. But simply, this is it. You just hit OK. And you save a video. So, for example, let's do a quick video here. Let's see if I have any. No, that's pictures. No, oh, wait. There, I think there's videos in there, too. Yes, there's videos in here, too. Um, I can't set those in there because those are not the right file type. Uh, basically, what you do is you just stick the video in and save it, and then there you go. It's HD. Here we go. That's when I converted. Notice how this um, video I'm going to click on right now. Give it a minute. This computer's a bit slow. Because, again, it's not running the proper operating system. <laughs> what could this be? A random wire leading out of my room. See how that's just regular? Now, if I go to my videos, which will be my documents. Videos. And go to my test footage, I think. I think this is it. Yes. This is it. What could this be? Now look at the screen. Wire leading out of my room into another room. Um, I'm not. Sh I mean, if you already have a Windows Media, um, a Windows Movie Maker file or whatever, or Windows, Windows Media Video, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. WMV file. <laughs> um, it shouldn't really affect the quality of your video. It'll just resize it. Me, on the other hand, using a flip camera and the camcorder, I have to go through any video converter here, switch it to an AVI file, then load it through Windows Movie Maker, then chop it up the way I want, wait another 15 minutes saving it to my computer after getting it to what I want, and there we go. But basically, that's my temporary solution for editing videos, and it's not that bad. I mean, it goes up to 340p, at least the way I do it from converting my videos straight out into and then loading it into Windows Movie Maker then saving through there.
So that is how you get HD, well not really legit HD like I'm using right now, but make your videos the size of an HD video through Windows Movie Maker. So this is Kyle Uranta Gamer, that's all the time for this video. And um, on a side note, I'll be posting my other channel stuff on here temporarily until I get my 200th video posted. Until then, peace out.